sorry, last track of what was going, uh, that the video went out. But basically, it just allows you to um, sculpt on there. So I just did some sculpting. Um, there's this one that allows you to draw. I don't know if I already showed you that, but basically it pulls out. Okay. Um, so you can do that, get it to the shape that you want. Um, once you're happy with the shape, what you want to do is you want to select it and you want to go to, um, we should be on modeling still. You want to go to UV and just click on automatic. Click automatic UV. And that's just going to automatically let out the UVs the best that it can figure out. Okay. Once you're done with that, we're going to paint it. So I'm going to go to this, go to rendering, texturing, hit the option box for the 3D paint tool. Now what I have to do is I'm going to select color because that's the thing I want to paint. And then I'm going to do assign edit textures. I'm going to choose 2048 and I'm going to choose PNG for my format and hit assign edit textures. Now what it will let me do is uh, paint on here. So if I want to paint a spot, right, like so, I can paint spots. Okay. Uh, if I want to do a whole color, I can actually... I can choose a color here, so maybe something that's a little more dog-like, like this brown here. Okay, and I'll just hit flood, and that will flood it. And now that way, when I actually go to paint, these, you know, will start with brown. Okay, and then you would do all this painting and make it look really great and stuff. Do a good job. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, um, go through and try to do a really good job painting that. Um, I'm going to call that good, even though it's terrible. Okay. Let me make that look a little more cohesive. All right. Okay. So um, you're going to do that. You're going to paint it. Um, once you're happy with the paint, just hit save textures. Um, oh, okay. Sorry. We got to save this. Should have been saving this whole time. Save scene as, I'm just going to call it animal underscore V01 for version one. And uh, now I'll hit save textures and that'll give it something to name it. Okay. So uh good so once you're happy with that you can just you know switch like the move tool or something else uh q w e or r any one of those tools um and you should have your animal and he looks fabulous all right so from here now what i need to do is actually uh get this puppy rendered right um so i'm just going to go to polygons and i'm going to make a plane just so that he's on something it makes it look a little bit nicer um and I'm going to assign a new material to this. So I'm going to go, I'm going to right click over top of it, go down to assign new material, choose blend. I'm going to take, I'm going to make it not reflective and not shiny. I'm going to take my color and I'm just going to make it, I don't know. Let me see if it's brown. Make it like this color. Does that look good? I don't know. Works for me. Okay. Uh, now what I need to do is, is actually render this. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to go to, I'm going to hit this little clap trap with the, the, um, oh, actually, before we even do that, we're going to render a mental ray. So um, we might need to turn that on. So just go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to look for, um, I have to find it. Oh, looks like it's not installed. Okay, so we're not doing Maya software uh, or mental ray. We're going to be using um, just Maya software. So in that case, this is what you're going to do. We need to make lights. So you're going to go Create, Lights. And you're going to create a directional light. You're going to take it, and it doesn't matter where it is. I'm just putting it up so I can see it. And this is going to be my key light. So I'm going to put it up here, and I'm going to give it a real touch of warmth, like not a lot, like that. I'm going to make the brightness about 1.25. That's my main light, okay? It's going to emit diffuse, and it's going to emit specular. I'm going to click on the shadows, and I make sure that's checked on. Use ray trace shadows, okay? Now, I don't know why I did that. Okay, put this back up. There you go. Uh, now I'm just going to duplicate it instead of making another one. And this one I'm going to use as, let me see what this, I'm going to angle this a little more this way. Okay. This one I'm going to use as a fill light. So it's going to basically reflect uh, off of this. So I'm going to give it somewhat of a similar color to that. Make it a little bit brighter. But it's going to have a little bit of that bluish tone. And I'm going to make this 0.5. And I do not want it to emit specular. And I do not want shadows being cast from it. It's just meant as a reflected highlight. I'm going to duplicate this again. And this one's going to be kind of like my rim light. Okay. So this one's going to be kind of coming up and over this way. Color this. We're going to make just pure white. And I'm going to try doing, we'll do 0.35, we'll say. Okay. Now, if I try to hit render, I'm going to get this. 
which doesn't look super great. And that's partly because there aren't any shadows. So I just got to turn shadows on. So I'm going to hit this little gear here. I'm going to go to Maya Software. Okay. And then I'm going to go quality. And we're going to do production quality. And I believe that might turn on. Okay. Then I got to open up the ray tracing quality and turn on ray tracing. Ray tracing is what it uses in order to do reflections and um, shadows uh, and that sort of thing. And now when I go to render, you can see now I have shadows. Okay. Um, and my dog's not on the ground apparently. Uh, good. So just make sure that's on. Turn to production quality. Turn it ray tracing on. Go to common and scroll down to the, this size and change this to image size. Change it to HD 720. Okay. And then hit close. That way when we hit preview render, you'll see that the render uh, will be larger. Okay. Now from here, what I would suggest doing is actually trying to make, um, you know, I might make another light here, command D and, oh, sorry, I thought I did that command D. Let's try it again. Here we go. Uh, cause that shadow is really black. So I'm going to try and, um, I'm going to have this one kind of come towards us like this. And I'm going to have the color be bluish. Okay. Like that. And that looks okay. And now let's try rendering it and see if that fixes some of the, the issues. Good. You know, you can see like the shadows not so dark, but you're going to play with that with that until you get something that looks pretty good. Um, I'm also going to take this and I'm going to pull it up so that the dog's feet are touching it. Okay. And I'm also going to select my camera. I'm going to scroll down to where it says environment and I'm going to click on this swatch here and I'm going to choose the same color that my background is. That way it'll kind of match. And then what you'll see, so it's under perspective because I selected the camera by clicking on this shape. And then I go down to background color. And now when I go to render, the background is of a similar color at least. Okay. And then once I'm happy with that, you're just going to right click file, uh, save image. And I just want you to save it. Um, it's going to save automatically into your images folder, which is fine, but switch it to a PNG and just call it your last name underscore animal. Okay. And then hit save and you are done. Okay. But try to make something that's not so bad because this is terrible. And that is it.